Hello everyone, I'm Kichiko and welcome back to a new episode of God Eater 3. So last time we did some uh, a story mission that where we ran into another age named Lulu and it looks like she has been abandoned by her port baron. Um, and then the, the last thing we did was that we just did an optional quest where we went against um, a Congo. So next we have the story quest, which is a change in route where we're, it looks like we're going up against a new origami, a mid-sized origami. And I do believe this one has spark. Um, and then as you can see, it's weak to fire and will blaze and freeze. So let's go ahead and do this. Get this started. Now, also in the last episode, we got a. Uh, we now have the ability to upgrade a lot more of our weapons, which this one in particular. Now, to be perfectly honest, I am more of just outside of this game. I like the power of freeze and water <laughs> I really like freeze type stuff and water type stuff so me personally I like going for the freeze or the frost type weapons uh, and since they're all 189 it's just the element um, and then if you're going up against that fire phoenix thing this will also be good for that too. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we, dude. Um, hold on. Cause this one is still our strongest, strongest though. It's just that I, I don't think we've been having too much trouble with the mid-sized origami yet. Especially since we still have bullets um, of the element. So, it's like, hmm. Now, what I might do is that I might do the anti-spark, though. Because I'm not even using a shield. Like, I can upgrade that to 210. But these are still both... Uh, yeah, we haven't been having too much, and I feel like I really want to be able to craft all of these, so I might off-string that, so you guys won't have to worry about seeing it. Uh, let's see, so for this one, hmm, Ooh, we have another slasher, though. I'll wait on that one. And then this one has the vigilant. Alrighty then. Let's see. We might be able to give her bind, but I really want to save up for hold though. Because for each three, uh, the other three party members, I give one, I give one person hold, I give one person venom, and I give one person bind. And since we already have venom on this one and bind on this one, I feel like I want to save hold for her. Or someone. Anyway, let's see. Got that to level 2, so let's do this one. So I have to use the square while aerial. Okay. Uh, still working on that, but it's nearly done. And yeah, I'm not good with the steps. So fire and 
ice for this one. any of these. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Man, that boob jiggle. It's slight, but it's still there. Oh, by the way, like, um, I'm recording this this at, uh, right after I recorded the last episode. So, I ate all of the sushi. I mean, like, it wasn't a lot, but, um, I haven't eaten, like, almost all day. So, my stomach was just like, yes, give us all the sushi. And it was so good. So good. I love sushi. Um, I'm gonna switch to the white mage uniform. White mage, white mage, kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy XIV a little bit, because that was a white mage in that one. Not, not that one. Um, I need tape. Tape. All right, and just to make sure, items. Oh, we have a stun grenade. We need to get rid of that stun grenade. Here we go. I haven't had to use any of my item items yet. I mean, that's not a bad thing. I would like to not have to use them, especially at the beginning. With especially with Origami that I'm used to fighting since they were in now that Phoenix thing and the Ice one. Those are were definitely new to me, but. The Congo, this one, which is like an alligator Team crocodile. Use appropriate caution. Gotta stay focused. Like an alligator crocodile type thing. You know. Oh, thank you. They're not going from straight for it. Polishing powder. <laughs> no contact with Aragami yet, huh? So this is just a different part of the last area that we did when we fought the Congo. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool if you could see like the whirlpool from a different angle. Whoa, hello. Oh, Me too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, he came from. Oh, that's kind of like the. What's this called? Um. Dude, he's over here, guys. Yeah, he looks like that, um, that one monster, sea monster from Monster Hunter.
Oh, that was real easy. It was. What? Well, not yet, I don't. Well, let's go up and get some more larger origami. I would like to see how I feared that time. Those times. Probably not as good. Don't fall off! Actually, I can't fall off here, so. Oh, there's like little boxes. Woo, woo, woo. Get it, get it. Thank you. Triple S. Only took two minutes, well, close to three minutes to defeat it. Alright, so... Yeah, no scythes, but we did get a sniper, the me Mel Key, and I think that's going to be a spark-based weapon. Sniper. Um, we got the anti-cold shield. Yay! Level 2, so we got Slaughter Fang, well, Infernal Rush, and Nightmare Reaper. And we got some modules, which I would not be using. Overwrite? Nope. Uh, we're supposed to check the database, but I guess it's good so we can read up on this new origami that we just fought. Yo, cutscene. I use shimmy over there. Oh. If there are no objections from any of you, I'd like for her to join our crew. Are you sure it's safe to have her? I mean, I'm fine with it, but... She doesn't have any place to go home to now, does she? I say go for it. She's strong and effective in combat. For an age, there's nothing more important than that. Hey, hey, I want a chance to analyze that acceleration trigger. I agree with Madame Hilda, though I guess that's nothing new. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Now all that remains is to see what her will is on this matter. She should hmm. join us. Her will, huh? Seems pretty messed up to drop that kind of choice on an age with her strict training. Right? Hmm. Whoa! You're way too serious. I'm with our friend here. No matter what the situation you find yourself in, your future is your own choice. Oh, I see. That actually does make sense. That's what freedom really is. What's yeah. with all the tape the on the ages? I'm free? Yes, you are, Lulu. My... Will. See, like, there's tape everywhere. Is that just a fashion thing that the ages have, or what? Are they patches? But the accessory <sighs> says tape. Just black I tape. I have nothing to offer. Like the others said, it's up to you to decide on your own path in life now. If you've come here, then you've already made a choice, haven't you? Hmm. Is it alright if I stay with you? <laughs> it's definitely alright. Heck yeah! I'm not gonna let a chance like this slide. That acceleration trigger you have? Let me give it a try. Huh? Well, it's not finished. Then we will assist you in completing it. Let's say you contribute your skills and tech in exchange for a warm bed. I like how her hair is two tone. Are you sure? 
Okay, then let's get the party going. We're gonna play cards all night. How's your poker game? Um, okay. I know the rules. The party is on! Uh, sorry, friend, but I'm going to bow out of this one. I just can't wait to take a peek at that acceleration trigger. Seriously, you're always such a wet blanket. Get with the program, will you? After you, friend. After you. Huh? Well, everyone else is obligated. Got it? <laughs> if we have to. <laughs> It'll be a nice change of pace. Join us. Join our team. But yeah, her uh, Lulu um, makes me think of a a different Lulu from an anime um, Blood Plus. I forgot what group she was part of, but it was all oh, the the Sylph, I think the Sylph when they was hunting down uh, Saya. Anyway, let's speak to some people. Hi, Lulu. You see, Claire let me borrow some things, but the underwear is a little too big. Oh well. Underwear? Underwear or bras? I can definitely see bras being uh, an issue. Lulu sure is amazing. She was able to survive all on her own, not to mention all that she's had to endure. Um, I forgot to check to see if Lulu had anything else to say. With the acceleration trigger earning such acclaim, I hope my friends can rest in peace. So I wonder if they was testing the acceleration trigger in her and her comrades. Well, all of the rest of her comrades died during the test, maybe? Oh, damn it. I hung out with Zeke last night and before I knew it, it was dawn. I mean, at least Lulu and I are getting along now. He didn't even plan on that, which makes it even worse. Aha! Okay. I don't think I've ever laughed so hard in all my life. Before, we had to be careful when playing cards so the guards wouldn't catch us. That reminds me how gorgeous those white playing cards were. So smooth to the touch. Okay. And then I'm going to poke my head into the lobby just to get into the habit of checking. Because you never know when someone might be in there. Eventually. Probably not now, but eventually. Keith's eyes were blood red. He said he didn't get any sleep. Okay, why is that? Was he up all night? Looks like he has something to say to us. Yay, I won! This feels amazing! Claire is comically bad at cards. I don't think I've met anyone with a worse poker face. That's why I like playing with her. Hee <laughs> hee. Guess that makes sense. That you would like to play against someone that's easily beatable. We did it! We finally did it, Zeke! Acceleration trigger analysis is complete. Man, that was quick. Did you stay up all night? He did. It's the thing Lulu was using, right? What the hell is it anyway? I'm so glad you asked. Simply put, an acceleration trigger initiates a process. Oracle potential energy is drawn forth from the oracle cells within a god arc user's body when certain stresses are applied to the cells. Then, transferred to a booster within their armlet which then amplifies the effect of the energy instantly boosting the user's capabilities by creating a god arc wielder feedback loop resulting in an oracle cell subjective stimulation system excuse me what simply put it'll unlock the energy in your oracle cells for an extra boost of power when you do certain things during combat Oh, okay. Why didn't you just say that at first? Wow, those folks in Baron are working on some remarkable stuff. So, these oracle cells we have in us are real scary, huh? Yeah, I'd say they qualify as real scary. If you overactivate them, they'll eat your body from the inside after all. 
Yeah. Do you have to look so happy about it? Well, you don't have to worry as long as you don't pull anything funny. The one Lulu brought in was improperly calibrated, which is dangerous. But never fear. I'll make sure the ones on your god arcs are up to spec. Are you sure? Because I don't want to do something and then I get knocked out or something. Uh -huh. But you just finished analyzing them. You gonna install them already? That sounds dangerous. I mean, I know I said I wanted one, but... Have they been properly tested? The more weapons you have at your disposal, the longer you can survive. Right, friend? I mean... Absolutely. It's a gamble. Pretty impressive. I think it's a gamble. I don't know about this, man. I've made sure to install the safest, simplest version so you can try it out the next time you're in a fight. Okay. There's already a mission set up and everything. If I get knocked out, I'm blaming you. No glitches, right? No glitches. So we got acceleration triggers unlocked. The acceleration triggers option is now available. Configure these and load out in a terminal. Can we speak to him again? It must be just about time for the system link test with the caravan to finish. I'm counting on you for the field test. Uh, go check with Amy to see for yourself. Well, we haven't spoken to everyone. So, uh, I'll be back. Now let's go to the residential area, which is basically dorms. Anyone in here? No, because all of them are downstairs. I mean upstairs. Some stairs. They're somewhere. Oh! Sleepy Paws! Found you! Is sleeping. Oh, you're so cute. I wish it was a, a way to like pet it. I don't know if it's safe to pet a sleeping cat though. But um, whatever. I would like to pet it. Let's speak to Ricardo. That Keith really knows what he's doing. I'm quite impressed. I am also quite impressed. Keith gave me quite a shock there. Where did he pick up that technological expertise? He'd be more than capable as part of the Glyphner R&D team. Yeah. Oh wait, that was new. I'm incredibly grateful for your work. You're well worth what I'm paying you. Well, thanks. I really appreciate it. That you appreciate me. Seeing how the last port was not very appreciative of us helping them fighting for them. Anyone in the medical ward? No one. It's empty. Which is a good thing. That means people aren't getting hurt left and right. And this is still closed off. And let's speak to Claire. Kaya. Using acceleration triggers when even Glyphner hasn't officially adopted them. Please, take all due care. Um... That must mean that we probably gonna be using Lulu in this next mission, probably. Okay, so we did get some new stuff. So before I accept the next mission, well, oh, okay. So this is the tr uh, acceleration trigger. Here you can adjust the acceleration triggers used during missions. Using acceleration triggers makes them more powerful and also leads to the discovery of new acceleration triggers. For more information on acceleration triggers, refer to the system terms section in the database. So right now we have Warrior. Um, so it increases the power of melee attacks by 5% and we have to perform our ground combo finisher 3 times. And we have Guardian, increase the shield defense by 15%. Uh, guard, guard against two attacks successfully. Ooh, Lightning, increases the virus speed by 5. Link burst 3 times. Increases the power of burst arts by 15%. Perform 4 devours. So I have to use, I guess that would be square 3 times. I wonder what this last one is. Okay. Yep. We need to get rid of this. Store and store. 
And I'm not gonna upgrade or craft anything until I know what we're going up against. System check is complete. Sorry for the delay. Please test out the acceleration trigger right away. That rhymed. I didn't know Amy was a part-time poet. I guess it would tell me if I have something new, so... Okay... Do we have a new optional one? Or just... Okay, so it's just story. New AT verification. Conduct, uh, conduct a acceleration trigger test. Please confirm that CC has visuals. No, this test will establish if an AT com link with our ship's OS is possible. Test overseer and Arthur Keith Pennyworth, editor Amy Chrysanthemum. And something that's weak to spark. But I'm not sure what it uses though. Okay. So yes, we are using Lulu, but I can switch out, but um, because he has a blade that does slash damage, and I think that's a shotgun. Yeah, wait, or is that a ray gun? That might be. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Zeke. I always keep one person that does uh, crush damage, so I have to keep Zeke in there at all times. <laughs> um, and Lulu has Slash, and I guess the Glaive form will also have Slash. Um, and then this one does Piercing, but also Support, which I think she has a lot more healing items. Um... Uh, Avatar. Mm. Good is this, and Zeke is the only male in the group. Lucky him. I forgot to push confirm again. This time, it's a test of the acceleration trigger system. Put it through its paces. All right, so we have something that's weak to spark. Uh, let's see. I mean, granted, I could do that. Mm. This could be upgraded. I might just have to off screen and get all these weapons that I can get right now. Because I don't know what attack it would use. Is that the same one that does freeze? I think it was the same one that uses freeze. Okay. All right. So this one does spark, and it's one point uh one point twenty four damage. Also seven hundred. And then this one. Well. So, just spark. Oops. Not that one. And make sure that I don't accidentally shoot, push square. Um... Oh, I keep that on for now. Uh, we're not gonna use anything. Hmm. I think we're good. We still haven't been in dire stats or anything as far as any knockouts where we use any endurance or anything like that. So I have full confidence of my abilities at this time. at this time being the keyword here seeing how 
I would like to see myself in the future. If I still say that. <laughs> All right. Oop. Finals normal. Instruments are green. Go ahead, Keith. Oh, it's these guys. Oh. over there. Never mind. Let's go this way. Actually, I probably can come up behind it. Wait. Oh, this map is just in a big, huge square. Rectangle. Which way is it going? I think it's resting or eating. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Oh, God. Something's really loud. You guys got them, got them, right? I'm just gonna get these other items. Yeah. Uh oh. Woo! Yeah, best the ice one. Excuse me, Lulu. I mean... Is it going? Oh, just over there. Actually, I need this. Hold on. I got everything on this part, right? Ready for the 
That scared me. <laughs> yeah, I think we got everything. If anything catches your attention, let me know right away. Engineers need good feedback in order to improve. <sighs> Thanks for this. Working with you puts my mind at ease. I'd like to do it again. No problem. I never felt like that before. Yep, I got everything. Double S. What did we get? I don't see a scythe, but I do see a sniper. Alright, so we have the Raven. And the railgun. I remember the railgun from the previous games. And no shields. Okay. So I have to do the ground combo fully, it looks like. No. I still haven't gone to the database yet. Nope, not really. The acceleration trigger was more effective than I thought it'd be. What about you? Were you able to use it? I think I got it down. But I'm gonna say kind of. Heh, <laughs> you always were a fast learner. Lulu Baron, I'm sure she's lived through the same kind of pain that we did. We may have grown up in different places, but I know that we can share the same dream. It may take some time for her to open up, but I believe we've gained a solid ally. Oh, okay. So he just does the same thing. Alright. So Zeke. Poor Baron really knows how to come up with some terrifying stuff. Acceleration triggers. I've never felt anything like that before. It's like my insides exploded. But how did he fix those things up in a single night like that? It's like he isn't even human. Okay. Oops, don't press X again. The acceleration trigger was perfect, right? System leak breaking in one go, not bad. Success like that makes it worth all those late nights, that's for sure. If I can do even a little to reduce the damage you all sustain, then I'm content. Okay. And Lulu, ah, oh, what can I say? Um, thank you? You guys really saved my life. The time I spent in Baron is like a dream now. There are people here who have something for me. That alone makes me... If I am able to help you in any way, please do not hesitate to ask. Okay, wait. If I am able to help you in any way... Okay, so she just says the same. Okay. That brings us up to six God Eaters. Huh? There's only five? Aren't you forgetting someone? Me? This guy. I'm a God Eater too. The acceleration trigger system is amazing, I hear. I have to test it out on the sly. Okay. I mean, granted, we haven't seen him fight nor join us, but he's a regular God Eater. So maybe that's why we didn't count him as the god eaters on this ash crawler. It seems kind of mean. You know, in the previous two games we were the same type of god eater he is now. Just a regular. Or normie. Anyone in the mail cabin? No. Sometimes I feel like that um, this lump of whatever um, is a person laying down. That would be pretty cool if uh, one time we can see them, see someone laying on uh, in the bed or something. Ludo smells so good. I wonder why. 
the way she smells makes my heart start thumping. Lulu. That does say smells, right? That doesn't say smile or something. Keith was mumbling something about fixing triggers and stayed up all night working. When I peeked in on him, he seemed to be having a lot of fun. It must be nice to be so focused. Do they not realize, like, the men do not realize that I am also a female on this ship? Like, are you saying that I do not smell good? I ought to slap him. You better be lucky this is not a Tales of game where I can zap you with my sorcerer's ring or something. Hi, Sleepy Paws. Still sleeping, I see. Oh, that's good. We're settled for the moment, I suppose. Lulu's an official member of the crew now. She tries to act grown up, but she's quite charming when she smiles. I like to give her more opportunities to shine like that. That goes for you, too. Age or not, I like to find the uniqueness and possibilities in everyone. It's better to work together with different strengths than to, than to all be the same, right? That is correct. Thanks to all of you, we've got access to acceleration trigger technology. It should help us out on the financial end, too. Okay, so that's all from her. So let's go to the laboratory floor. Okay. No one in here. Oh, show is. Hi, show. You're also amazing. You just keep changing for the better. Why are you in the medical ward? Is something up? We come a long way from Pennyward, haven't we? Are you are you not feeling good? Are you coughing again? And then this place is still locked. I wonder if that ever would be open to us. I don't think so. There's no way I wouldn't I would have guessed that I'd be able to use an acceleration trigger. What a phenomenal system. I have to work hard to master it. Okay. Alright, bye. Let's go back to the bridge. We have spoken to everyone and no one had a speak bubble. So let's see. No, let's go to the database before I forget again. So we got Lulu, 19 years old, found stranded in the Ashland. She was picked up and granted sanctuary according to Ashland Navigation Law. The following is, uh, yeah. And that was it for that one. Okay, we got some new world slash events. So we got satellite bases. No, Baron. Baron is a new one. Okay, so that's the part that Lulu Baron belonged to and research on the Ashlands and Ages. And we got some more apparently. Acceleration triggers. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then new origami. Dread Pike, a small origami whose horn and shell make it resemble a beetle. Although its movements seem sluggish, caution is advised when facing it. It has been seen to use its large horn to hide itself underground, then ambush unsuspecting passerby, and is weak to all of the elements. Then Naaman, Naaman, Men, Naaman? Mm. A bizarre mid-sized origami that looks like a cross between a knight and a crow. A Naaman is extremely agile and can cover ground in the in the blink of an eye by heating the wings on his head. While the claws on his arms are not as dangerous as they look, wounds from repeated and relentless charge attacks can quickly become fatal. Break the bonds on his head wings to slow his charges, making dodging attacks easier. So it, it uses blaze and is sweet to freeze and divine uh, summary of activative abilities all the muscles in his body become augmented increasing its charge speed and attack breakable bonds the cephalic wings arms legs congo a mid-sized origami with the body of a sturdy ape 
quick movements and all out attacks are its bread and butter. When it sees humans, it immediately forms a herd and moves to attack. The pipe like organs on its back can fire powerful blasts of pure air. Its ears are also extremely sharp and it will rush toward any sounds of battle it hears. This trait can be used against it by drawing only the Congo into battle. Um, yeah, I definitely did that. Um, I also used muted when I don't want them to join in the battle. <laughs> like when I just want to take out one origami at a time and leave the Congo for last depending on where they are uh, on the map. And it's weak to blaze and spark. Uh, it becomes much more agile and also gains heightened attack power. Breakable bonds, face, torso, and tail. So I was close. It's the Ukon Basara. A mid-sized origami resembling a crocodile with a turbine on its back. Like a crocodile, its tremendous jaws are powerful and deadly, and is found primarily in areas with large amounts of water. Unlike a crocodile, it has uh, it has an organ that generates electricity that it uses to attack. Bomb breaks weaken it significantly and should be attempted if possible. So it attacks with a spark and it's weak to blaze and freeze. Summary of activated abilities. Its attacks grow more powerful. Additionally, it appears to be appears to more often use its ability to quickly close distance with its targets. Breakable bonds, head, turbine, tail. And then we have some more effects. Uh, let's see. Engage active. Looks like a chain being linked. And acceleration trigger active. With its the blue A. Blue A. Mm -hmm. I seen that. Um, acceleration trigger. Percent analyzed. Activating an acceleration trigger will raise this percent analyzed. When this reaches 100, it will improve the effect or develop new acceleration trigger effects. Then engage, which is L2R2. Okay, and then this in person search results. Search results Lulu Baron, codename, no results. Identification number, no results. Sex, no results. Blood type, no results. Medical history, no results. God art ID, no results. Note, the original and unaltered document is shown here. Well. Alright, so let's see what is new then. Great work on the mission. How did the acceleration trigger feel? You were already frighteningly strong, but now it looks like you're on the whole new level. I'm not trying to flatter you either. Oh, there I go again. Mission details coming up. Alright, so let's see what we have. So, still a story. Oh, wait, no. We have an optional one as well. So, let's see. What time do we have? Okay, so I still have some time left. Oh, it's a cereal. Cereal. Well, we're going to do these optional ones. Just in case. So, you can link with the acceleration trigger system perfectly. Great, but what's key to using it? Well, I thought I'd assign you an extra test to help you figure that out. Alright. No biggie. Um, let's see. How much he has? 176. He has one. one. I kind of want to get them to 200. Some of them to 200. Would we'll definitely her up some more. Yeah. Come back safe. Good luck. All right. So with that, gonna store this and store this, and then bring all of my bullets. Actually, technically, I don't need all of them. I just like to have all of them. Oops. There we go. And let's see. We got that one. Inferno Rush. 
a vertical round fang combo that mercilessly focuses each slash on one point. Improved cleave fang, multiple oracle energy enhanced blades cut origami to ribbons with this cleave fang, increased damage to weak points. And twin talons, improved vertical fang, a wide area of vertical fang, using a cleave fang afterward when increases power, and an origami will restore stamina. I think this is next, so let's equip that one. And we're still working on that. Well, we haven't been able to use Ariel yet. And I'll keep the same clothes on. Let's see. Well, I was waiting to put hold on her, so look, keep that. All right, so let's see. We can give them point two or bind two. Hmm. Eh, whatever. I'll wait. Okay. Items. Bullets. Let's go. I definitely know that I'm going to have to stop by the merchant before I go into that story mission, though. Because if it's like in the previous games, the serial. Sario um, afflicts Venom and uses Divine, but it's weak to every element other than Divine. So I'll have to use something um, by items that um, cures anything. Venom. Take care, everyone. Let's end this quickly. Everything's set, and here we go. Oh! Let's get the items. Oops. I don't know why it's <laughs> the edge of that concrete made it seem like it was an item. And I like how we're fighting at nighttime. I love it when they change the time or the weather. Excuse me, guys. Lucent stone. This area right here reminds me of area that was in Cold Vein. Ow. Woo. That scared me. Jeez. Triple S. Oh, we got a new scythe and new sniper. So we got the harvest and rest of sniper P. Oh, that's our shotgun. And then we got some shields. Rest off shield. 
and F type armor. Hmm. Okay. No, thank you. Well, that didn't take as long as I thought. Um, I might can go ahead and do the story mission. Because I'm not even at an hour yet. Oh, welcome home. Want to eat, hit the showers, do some lifting? Not that. Uh... Uh... Well, I have 2,500 now. I might be able to afford... Okay, so the Raven is the Falcon sub-branch, and it uses Spark. Okay. Oh, we got both branches now. Hmm. Okay. So we got both branches of so this one too. Got the anti cold, anti heat, and anti spark. We can't do the harvest yet. And that's 800, geez. Um, the railgun, that's Spark. And we still have the Griffin. Well, both of these are railguns. Let's see, that's 1.21. That's 1.24. So I'll probably go, go with this one. This only has two branches. This one only has this branch. Hmm. And the Griffin had two branches. Got F type armor that has the God Eater emblem on it. And it has three branches. Okay. Hmm. Oops. Currently available missions are as follows. Oh, uh, let's see. Alright, so this is the Sario. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do this one. I mean, it shouldn't take me too long. So, anonymously, the city of uh, fluctuation, detect the long plotted course. Multiple origami's responses confirmed. Deploy to ensure the security of the course. Um, yeah, that's fine. Alright, come back safe then. I need to go to the merchant. Because I don't think I... It's been dropping any anti-venom. Welcome, welcome. What can I get for you today? Um, I want some in storage. Um, but that's a hundred. Um, just give me some in, in, in my inventory then. So what's the max that I can get? Ten. Yeah, you're not... I might not even need that many. Let's do three. Because, yeah, I should not get inflicted with venom that much, I hope. Okay, and it's basically weak to everything. Alright, let's see, a sub-divine. I mean, granted, I mean, I don't really switch between... ...bullets that much. So I might just go with Freeze, just because I like Freeze. Okay. Don't have any anti... Uh, 
well that makes it easier for who I'm using I can give them venom uh, resistance yep venom resist More power? okay and then put this one um, I'll get rid of athlete Wait, what does athlete do? Let's see. Makes stamina difficult to exhaust. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of athlete and put venom resist. I'm such a freaking genius. And that would be her first move on this one. Well, let me see. It was forty as well, correct? Yeah, it's also 40, so... Yeah, I should be able to give her... I've got the fundamentals down now. And then more stamina. Oh, a flash of insight. And then last one would be for Venom Resist. The fundamentals down now. So that way it would be harder for them to catch it. <laughs> Alright, let's go then. Oh, hold on. I still had a stun grenade with me. Alright, now we can go. And then this would be the last mission I do for this episode. And then I might, I might off screen a bit and just get all of the weapons <laughs> upgraded and crafted. Systems green. Ash concentration is safe. Begin mission when ready. Oh, she's over here. Let's do this. Follow orders and move out. Even stone is easily corrupted. Say what? Stone is corrupted? I completely did not listen to what they were saying. I should I feel like I should be able to jump over those. That's because I went in the opposite direction. Uh oh. Ooh! Go this way! you fighting Lulu oh my gosh Lulu what jeez Lulu yes I wasn't I didn't want you to attack her yet Here I am. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought that would work. No. Ooh. I'm okay.
I'm so totally blocked. another one. to the water. I want to swim and fight like a water monster or something. Like that electric one. Oh, it's the Lagucris or something. Right? From Monster Hunter? Lagucris? Chris? Oh, we got a uh, scythe and a uh, sniper. And a shield. So, the Armida is from the previous games. The Tarska and the Athilo. They all look like her face. Um, and I think the Armida inflicts Venom as its main skill, I think. Aw, oh, we almost had it. No, thank you. And I think that's gonna, gonna call that it for this episode. To encounter one in a place like this. Asario? I suppose we should count ourselves lucky that we spotted it before it spotted us. Is that an ash origami? What's the ash origami? It does sound exciting, but what is it? Yes, they're a new type of origami that appeared with the Ashlands. 
for a whole new breed of monster. Hmm. Sounds dangerous. Just a scratch from one of them will kill you. They devour in a completely different way from regular origami too. They rob God Eaters of their resonance ability and explosively amplify their own oracle cells. They can also enter a burst state in the same way that you God Eaters can. Right. Yeah. Okay. Nothing and inescapable. That sums up Ash Origami. Yeah, sounds like a challenge. There's only one thing we can do now. Pray that we don't come across one? Pray. Ah! Just hope to high heaven we don't ever have to engage one of them. Dude, you realize that we're in a video game? We're going to engage one of them. Probably several. Okay, let's speak to Sleepy Paws first. Sleeping. Thanks to the resonance radar, we can avoid routes inhabited by Ash Origami. I really hope we don't come across any Ash or Origami before we arrive at the Chrysanthemum. Okay. I have a feeling that we will encounter one just because you're mentioning it. The resonance radar is breaking right for once. It spotted Ashborn for us. We really don't want to bump into any of them. You need more than nine lives to survive. Haha, <laughs> kind of funny because I have cat ears. Hilarious. Okay, so let's see. Let's check the mail cabin. Anyone in here? Nope. Check over here. The kids are here. I started up a conversation with Lulu earlier. She looked a bit pained when talking about her experience at her old port. I wonder if I brought up some bad memories for her. Probably. Especially since she was abandoned by her port. Did something happen? It's like everybody in the ship is super busy all of a sudden. No, I one in here. Alright, so let's go down to the next floor. Or in this case, the laboratory. And check the medical ward. Anyone in here? Hey, show. I wish I had some kind of special ability that could help everyone. I suppose I should focus on getting better first, though. Yep, get better first before you start trying to use up more energy that you don't can't really afford to get rid of or spend. That thing with the Ash Origami sure was a close call, wasn't it? We've had a lot of encounters like that on this trip, but Ashborn are supposed to be rare. I don't think they mean the the are the stereo. It's like I'm missing something or something. Hmm, that's good. It doesn't seem like anyone has any health problems yet. The thing is, a special kind of drug had been administered by uh, Lulu's acceleration trigger. It seems to allow even unadjusted triggers to perform close to 100%. The trade-off is that it places a terrible strain on the user's body. Naturally, I removed it. It really is an outrage that Baron conducted such experiments in the first place. Uh, Ashborn, as his developer, I want to see if the acceleration trigger will work against them. Hee <laughs> hee. So what was the first part? I heard you came across an Ashborn. I mean, is the stereo Ashborn? <laughs> I never knew pushing the resonance radar to its limits could make things so easy. It's really quite amazing. And then let's check to see if anyone's in the lobby except Faith. Nope, just Faith. Someday there would be people in that lobby because it's called a lobby. Back in Baron, there were plenty of Ashborn sightings, but I never saw them myself. And Ash Aragami, I hope is it steers clear of us. Mm. 
No way, Ashbourne? They've never been spotted by a pinworm before, right? Okay, and then finally, we're gonna check our items and put back any that we don't need right now. Uh oh. And check to see about our weapons. Steal those. Steal that. Well. Oops. Guns and shields. So the Armida, look at it, it's so nice. And it does divine, so that's our first divine based weapon. Holds the spirit of an enchantingly beautiful woman. A torture device. That steals the souls of criminals. Sight that cuts down foes like stalks of wheat. Uh, its ease of handling makes it suitable for any warrior. Prototype built from the best of limited materials. Anyway. Yeah. Got two branches. And then guns, we got the Tosca, curse to take the lives of ones that the bearer loves. What? Why would it do that? Okay, and then shields. The Othello. Attractive shield of falsehood that brings doom. Oh, that's great. Oh, okay. Alright. So that's everything new. So we're gonna go ahead and save here then. Yep, go save here. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Enjoy the rest of your day or your night. And this is Kichigo signing out. Goodbye everyone.